Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing fantastic. It is 100 degrees right now. It is a hot tamale. Jeez Louise. Look at that. 100 degrees. It's almost 1 o'clock. I have a kind of a late start today. Um, I don't know what happened. Like, I fell asleep. I put my phone down. And I don't know. It was just like... I think it, I was like watching something on YouTube and I just like passed out and I don't know so like my phone was just like on like it was like on playing YouTube videos and then my alarm like wasn't as loud because like when you're watching something or you're on your phone the alarm isn't really as loud so like I woke up at like a, it was like 11 something but then I didn't go to bed this morning until about 6 so I did get a good 5 hours sleep no wonder I feel really refreshed but um, we're starting the day now. I'm gonna go thrifting. It's Sunday and the world is our oyster. So let's go see what we can find. Uh, we had a super fun uh, sale last night. Thank you again for all joining. If you guys would like to join the live sales, I do schedule them all in advance right now for the rest of the month. They're scheduled so you can go to the video page here on my YouTube channel. There's like the little uh, tab up at the top and see when the next sale is. Um, I believe this week, well, when you see this video, it probably will be after the live sales already happened. But this week, uh, we're, I have a live, live scale scheduled on Tuesday and Saturday. So I'm pretty excited. The Tuesday one is going to be at 11 a.m. And I've been trying to do those earlier morning ones. So, whew, I'm, I'm going to lower the AC a little bit. I'm so sorry. It was probably really loud. But let's go thrifting. I'm really excited. Let's go. Guys, we just got to Pasadena. We're going to go over to the Crossroads store here. There's only one. So if you guys want to come check it out, that's the one that we're going to. Let's go inside and see what we can find. I actually just met one of you guys here. And it was so sweet all the way from Mexico, too. So that's so cool. Oh my gosh, thank you for saying hi. It was so fun chatting with you. And your, oh, I think it was your boyfriend too. Oh yeah, it was so fun. So thank you for saying hi. <laughs> but you found some good stuff too, which is awesome. I love that. But let's see if we can find 47. There was some stuff in the front that I wanted to check out. So I'm probably going to go look at that right now. But it was behind the register and there was a bunch of people there. So I love the color of this. Ooh, look at this. Orange. Is that a fish? How cute is this wallet? Alright, you guys. I got like three things from that Crossroads store. Drove down the street. It's like literally 104 degrees, I think, right now. It's really, really warm. Luckily, I found parking that's not too far from here, but we're going to go to 2nd Street and see what we can find. I literally just had this Tory Burch for sale in the shop. Well, like in one of the live sales, I mean. Okay, so far, you guys, this is what I got here. Nothing else yet, though. All right, friends, this is our next destination. This is the crossroads off of, I think it's Sunset, Sunset. So, really excited to go in. I just went to the one in Griffith Park, and I just found, like, Kate Spade, like, little card wallets. I'll show you guys that later. But I didn't film because I couldn't get to my <laughs> camera in the back, and I didn't want to go around, and there was a lot of people, and it was just awkward, so... All right, I'm in the back section. This Kate Spade is so cute. I love the color. You guys, look at this All Saints that I found. The leather is like tie-dyed. It's so cool. All right, next stop, we are on Sunset on Mel... No, not Sunset. We're on Melrose. We were on Sunset earlier. We're on Melrose now. We're going to go to Crossroads. Maybe go to Wasteland as well. Um, I'm on a tight schedule, though, because it's almost 6, I think. And all the Crossroads close at 7. And I want to go to at least one more after this, so we'll see how fast we can be. The wasteland across the street. Unfortunately, they don't allow filming inside of there, so we're just gonna go film the side crossroads. And then if I find anything at wasteland, I'll let you guys know. But follow me on Instagram because I do post on there if I see anything there. This is a cool kid spade. Never seen one like this before. You guys, I found this Tory Burch. It's perfection. I just found the Converse that I have been really wanting. The ones with like the chunky soles, and they fit. I tried them on. Only thirty-two fifty. Yes. So excited. This is our last crossroads of the day in West Hollywood. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the other one in time before they all close. So let's go inside, check it out. This is Rebecca, you guys. It's so cute with the pearl. But it's kind of expensive. Okay, they didn't really have anything other than the Rebecca Me cough bags that I liked. So, 
I think that's oh, it. So many goodies, you guys. Hermes, Givenchy, Kate You guys, I'm not gonna believe what I got, but like, I got an Hermes Twilly um, that Rebecca Minkoff. I got this Givenchy clutch. I got Tom Ford sunglasses and Celine sunglasses. So many goodies. All right, you guys, we are back at the house, and I am super duper excited because we got some amazing stuff today. Like, I can't even comprehend how good the finds were because it was just. It was just crazy, like honestly. I I feel like each weekend haul is getting better than the last. And I'm just really excited to share everything with you guys. Also, don't forget if you want to see when the next live sale is gonna be, head over to the video uh the video link here on my YouTube page, like the the video uh, tab and the live sales that are scheduled for the rest of the month should pop up on there. But let's get started. Hold on, I just need I only use this cup for orange soda because this is orange. <laughs> Am I nuts? Okay, um, okay, I don't even know what to start with, but we went to a bunch of different stores today. I think they were all exclusively buy sell trade stores. So let's just jump into it. You would have seen all the stores that I went to. This is gonna be in no particular order because I honestly don't even remember anymore where I got everything. And I guess I can start off with the wallets first. And let me tell you, the tiny wallet assortment was so, so good. Look at that. Yeah, are these all the small wallets that I got? I think this actually might be it. Okay, so first one here. This is a little coach wallet. I thought this was so cute. It's a metallic gold, or gold, metallic red. <laughs> and then it's like a smiley, winky, like, it's like a winky face, but it's like a heart and then the wink. And there is a pocket in the back. This is the snap closure. When you open it up, there's two uh, card slots. And then there's like the main compartment right there. And it just says Coach New York embossed. And I got this one. I think this was from 2nd Street. They take off this, the, like, the price tags when you buy stuff there. And I think this is like $28, I believe, before tax. And then the next one uh, is this Kate Spade. This one is really adorable. I love the color on this. It's so good. This one was from Crossroads. And this guy was $22.50. It has a bunch of built-in card slots, an open pocket, and then the zippered compartment. I love that it has the little key thing right here. You can attach your keys onto here, or if you want, you can put your keys inside of here. So that way when you throw this inside of your bag, it's not gonna scratch anything that's inside of, like with your keys. But this is beautiful. It's in a light yellow Safiano gold hardware. This is in like new condition. So is this one. This one is in great shape as well. I feel like all the wallets that I found today are in like new condition or are actually brand new. This one is a Marc Jacobs. Like, look at this. I found these two together and I was like crying because the color combo is so perfect. This is a beautiful light green. It's like a pistachio green almost. Silver hardware, which I love. I love this color combo with the silver hardware. It's so classy. This is another one that has a little key thing that you can put inside. Fantastic. I love this clear ID slot, which is perfection, and then more card slots, and then another um, pocket. Wait, no, there's not another pocket. There's just the, oh, there is a pocket. It's right there. But yeah, uh, this guy, I think was almost the same price. 20 something as the other one. 28, this one's a little bit more expensive. I got a lot of Marc Jacobs wallets today. The next one is this guy right here, and this is just a little card wallet. This is like in a caviar printed leather, which I think is really cool. I think this is an abstract floral print. We have three card slots, or two card slots on one side, two on the other. The Marc Jacobs is in silver right here, silver metal, and then uh, there's just the interior or middle top pocket. This guy was $18.50. Oh, so cute. Okay, and then this one was the last one. And if you guys uh, didn't watch uh, one of my previous videos where I literally found, like, how many of those? Five, six, seven, eight. I think I found, like, eight. I think I found eight Marc Jacobs snapshot bags. Like, it was crazy. I don't know how that happened. I've been trying to find those for so, so long, and I manifested all of them at the same time. It was nuts, and I just, Went crazy and I bought all of them. 
um, as of this moment that I, this video is being filmed, um, three have sold, and I'm keeping either one or two of them. So I think I still have like two or three left. But this is the next one. This one is brand spanking new. It has the Marc Jacobs tag still attached. I got this one for $32.50. And this one is in a mint green Safiano and white Safiano. And then you open up and it's gold. And it also does have gold hardware. It's like so brand new. So it still has all of the original packaging. It's so cute. I am obsessed. Um, and yeah. Lots of, lots of goodness today. I'm really excited. It has a built-in um, card slots right there and like the back, like kind of mixed in with like the money um, compartments. But yeah, so that is that. I think those are all the wallets. I guess I can do a clutch, which is kind of like a large wallet. This one is a Givenchy clutch. Ah, it's so cool. What's really cool though, like I kind of want to keep this. I think I might, I don't know. I'm trying to be strong because I it's got so much stuff recently. And uh, this is, these, these, are, these are the jaws like of a fish. I don't know exactly what kind of fish. I think it might be a shark. I think it might be a shark. But what's cool is I used to work in a biology research lab and I literally worked with fish all day. And I, one of the people that worked in my lab with me actually studied sharks, so that's cool. But I, like, all fish, like, their mouths kind of look like that. Um, and yeah, so this just, like, brings me back. I think that's so cool. And on the back, it actually has this flower motif. And this is in just, like, a black uh, Safiano. And then... Silver hardware, this unzips, and the interior looks like that. I think the previous owner used this as kind of like a makeup bag because I can see some makeup stuff in there and even some fibers from like uh, paint or paint brushes from makeup brushes. Um, also, PS makeup brushes make really good paint brushes. Just make sure to clean off all the makeup if you're going to use an old one. And then there's the little tag right there, the Givenchy, and then the serial number, and this was $120. So cute. I just feel like I just need to clean the interior a little bit more, and also the exterior looks like there's um, some like flecks of glitter probably from makeup, but that's easy enough to clean off. Okay, whew. What do I show you guys? Oh, I did have another wallet. I almost dropped my cup. This is the other wallet that I had. This one is a Kate Spade. And it's cute. I love like this embossed spade print in black. The hardware is just in this light gold. I got this guy for $28. Uh, there's just three card slots on one side and then just the middle right there. There's nothing on this side, just the cool design. So there's that. And okay, I think that's it. Our next item. I'll do this guy and this is also like a brand new piece which is so cool and I um, I think yeah this is a new style like this style from Re Rebecca Minkoff has just recently come out I got this guy for 55 I uh, still has the original tag still attached it even has like the little um, sticker on the interior as well and it comes with the dust bag this is like the new Rebecca Minkoff dust bag and there's just one interior pocket I love this so much it looks like the like the like a version of the Loewe flamenco bag, except this one has like some fun tassels on it, and it has like the drawstrings on either side, crossbody strap. You can actually remove the crossbody strap if you wanted, and then you can just use this as a clutch. But how fun is this? Like I think this is such a fun bag. The leather is super duper soft, and again. It is brand new. It still even has the little stickers on the magnetic snap hardware. And this has silver stamping on there as well. So $55 for this guy. Uh, ooh, let's move on to some of the sunglasses I got. I got, I, okay, another thing is I have recently started thrifting a gazillion different sunglasses. Um, I think just like the past two weeks, I think I've picked up probably over 20 or 30, 20 to and probably closer to 30 pairs of glasses, um, prescription glasses, pres prescription sunglasses, regular sunglasses, and yeah, and you guys have been liking them, which is so, so cool, so I love that. I love finding like, like 
prescription glasses that you, like for you guys because you can just like change out the prescription lenses in them and then you can wear them but this pair of sunglasses is so cool this is actually a pair of Celine sunglasses um, I took off the price tag on these because I was like practicing wearing them is this the price tag for it? yeah so these um, these guys were forty two fifty. there's the price tag on there $42.50 and I was practicing wearing these guys. They still have the original tag as well from the store, which is crazy. Uh, I just kept them on, but <laughs> I was literally driving around with like the little put, like paper thing on the side of my head. But this is how they look. They're so cool. Like, I don't know, like, do I look ridiculous? I feel like the sunglasses are really fun. They honestly kind of look like they're upside down, which I kind of like. It makes them look a little crazy and fun uh they're in a red kind of like clear ish frame and then just like a gray lens what do you guys think should i keep these i really like them because it's very rare to find sunglasses that look actually look big on me because my head is so huge so i just think these are really really fun and yeah 42.50 and these are out uh these are also the new celine so this is new celine they, they took off like the accent over the E. So these are like a new style, which is cool. And then I'll show you guys how like the older style looks because I also got another pair. And this other pair came with the box as well. So it has the white box. Um, there you go, when you open it up, these guys were $47.50. So they were actually um, more expensive than the other pair. But this style, I think, is more kind of like indicative to the Celine sunglass like styles. And these are a lot smaller, though they are still a good size. These are actually really cute. I kind of like these. But they are black and they have like the three little dots right there. And these are so cute. These, um, oh, the, the like the width of the sunglasses are 145 millimeters. But these are super cute. Yeah, I like these. What do you guys think? I have, <laughs> I'm like obsessed with Celine sunglasses. Those Celine sunglasses are one of my favorites because they're one of the brands, like one of the few brands that like make sunglasses big enough uh, for me. And this is, I guess this is the last pair of sunglasses that I got. I'm just gonna show you all of them at once. These are actually Tom Ford sunglasses. And these I also lost, okay, I think I lost the, <laughs> where'd I put it? Anyway, I lost the, paper bag that these were in where I put the price tag on. Um, I think these were like 55 or $65. And these also do have the original, like the price tag thing from the store. So these are also brand new as well. And I love these cause they are huge. These are, you guys will see it. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like I kind of look a little crazy. But I feel like they're fun. I really like the sides of them. They're huge. And they're like those sunglasses that they give you uh, when you like go to the eye doctor, like the optometrist, and then they dilate your eyes or something. And then you wear like those, like they give you like a pair of like giant sunglasses that you can wear to protect your eyeballs. I feel like these are it. But do I look crazy? I don't know. The only thing is these are huge, but I feel like they kind of squeeze my head like right here where my temple is. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, but they're fabulous and I really like them as well. I'll just have to deal with them squeezing my brain, but I feel like it's going to start giving me a headache. Okay, um, up next, uh, what will I show you guys? I have this Mark G uh, Michael, Michael Kors backpack. And I love the color. Burgundy is like one of my favorite colors right now. Like burgundy reds, pinks, like burgundy, right? Like metallic burgundy. And then sunglasses. Look at these all like match the, the same colors. So I think that's really cool. And this one's a drawstring backpack, gold hardware. The backpack straps right there. These, uh, this guy was $37.50 from Crossroads. And this also does come with the original dust bag. And this backpack, it looks brand new. Uh, I don't think it's ever really been used. I feel like it's just been sitting in someone's closet. It still even has the little plastic thing right here that holds together the, um, the key fob thing to the bag itself. And yeah, there's like 
no wear on here at all. There's like no rubbing on the corners, no stains, nothing. So this was a awesome, exciting find. Very excited about that backpack. If you guys have been loving backpacks recently, we're also back to school. And this is a good size. This is like a good medium, medium to large size backpack. So you can still fit a ton in there. You can definitely use it for school or just like on the go, whatever. Then up next, I am really excited about this because I thought the leather was so beautiful. This is an All Saints uh, bag and it's one of the Spitafields Jack, Jack Place collection. And I think that's like a like one of their more expensive collections, but this bag is really awesome. The leather is super duper soft. I think it might be a lambskin. And this is actually like, I think they like, um do a technique where they tie-dye it because it looks like tie-dye, right? And it doesn't look like it's printed on. Like, I, it looks like it was actually tie-dyed, but I could be wrong. I do not know 100% sh like for certain, but it's gorgeous, and I just love like the print design. There are two front pockets inside of there. It has a shoulder strap, so this sits like really nicely. Oh, I didn't, I, <laughs> I didn't even notice my shirt is like that. It's like a tie-dye kind of shirt. And then... The interior just has one interior zipper pocket. Kind of hard to show the interior because it's so floppy. But the bag is in pretty good shape. It does like have some signs of wear though. Um, because the leather is so soft. And there are some marks right here that I think I can clean off. But you honestly can't even tell because of the print. So, but really cool. Uh, this guy was $24, which was super cheap. Usually they price All Saints a lot more at the store, but maybe it's because it's like, I don't know, because of the print? I don't I feel like the print would make it more expensive, but the print is really cool. Maybe they didn't notice that it was All Saints? I don't know. Anyway, up next, <laughs> uh, let's, oh, let's see this guy. Okay, this one is so cute and the color is beautiful. So this is a Kate Spade uh, little crossbody bag in this gorgeous quilted blue leather. It kind of looks like a little blue gray, right? With silver hardware, which is awesome. So this is actually, um, I believe one of, yeah, it is. This is um, one of the newer Kate Spade pieces. I think, um, I don't exactly know when they started doing silver hardware, but I know it's very recent. And it might, I don't know if it was right before or right after Coach acquired Kate Spade, but I feel like they've never had really any silver hardware. But it's pretty cool. I love it. There's a back pocket right there. You could open it up. You can actually remove the crossbody straps. You could just use this as a clutch or a large wallet. So this is, oh, essentially this is a walk, a wallet on a chain. This guy was $32.50 and there's actually a little front zipper pocket right here. Uh, and then in the back, it has six built-in card slots, which is awesome for your cards. And your phone should definitely, I was like, where is my phone? It'll definitely fit in here really nicely as long as your phone doesn't get stuck to the card slots. So, very exciting. An adorable bag. It just does have some marks right here, but I think they're just like, like dirt stains. You just need a little leather conditioner and that'll just come right up. And there's a little bit of some on the bottom, but otherwise, um, it's in fantastic condition. The inside is super clean. Once I condition and clean this up, it's gonna look fantastic. It already looks really good right now, see? Really cute, I just really like that quilting. I think it's really cool. So up next, I have another like smaller style bag. And what's crazy is that I think this is the third time I have gotten this same style bag and this is the same the I, I thrifted um a small one a while ago maybe like actually it wasn't really a while ago it was probably like a month and a half two months ago and then shortly after i thrifted the same exact bag but i think it was in gray i don't remember exactly what color it was it was either the same exact color or gray because i think the first one i got was in black I don't remember. <laughs> my brain is my brain is failing me. I just remember the same exact style. So it's really cool. It's in like this gray, tanny, like gray beige. I guess we just I would call this grayish. There was a color called grayish that Chloe uh, used to do, and then like the color 
name was Grage, and every time I see that color, which is exactly this, I think Grage. So it just has an All Saints uh, logo embossed on there. This actually comes with two straps. This um, this two tone strap. One side's black, one side's grayish, and then a chain strap as well. And you can adjust them, you can remove them. So what's cool is you can actually um, remove both of them and just use this bag as a clutch. Or you could just use one strap or the other. This one definitely is more like everyday utilitarian, um, like a nice thick strap. And what's re really like about this strap too is that you can use it on other bags and it'll definitely elevate it. I love that it has like the, I think this is almost like a one and a half inch. Yeah, this is a one and a half inch thick strap which is fantastic I feel like straps normally are not that long or wide so that's really good the leather on this is so super soft as well when you open it up um, you have like an accordion style interior this also does come with the original dust bag there's a zipper pocket in the back um, oh this is my receipt just stick that in there and yeah it's nice and clean in the interior it's in really really great shape and I'm really excited to have another one of these for you guys because you guys loved this bag the last few times I got it. And this will definitely be in a live coming up very soon. So there we go. All Saints. Love it. Okay, up next, let's do this guy. Okay, this one is so, so cute. Are you guys ready for this one? It's I love the print. This is a little Tory Burch crossbody bag. Isn't the style the best? I'm kind of obsessed. It's in this Safiano, and I think this is a Safiano um, coated canvas. So I don't think it's um, I don't think it's leather, but it's beautiful. I love the colors, the magenta, the blues like the burgundy and then like this off-white cream color with gold hardware. We have the top handle, removable and adjustable cross body strap. And in the interior, it actually has uh, just three built-in card slots, which is really nice. And then this will just fit your phone right inside, fits all the way in, which I think is the reason why, like they made this bag specifically this size so that you can fit your phone standing up like this and it fits perfectly. So I thought that was really nice. And yeah, this guy is in like new condition, $55, a deal. This is so cute. And the hardware doesn't have like any marks on it at all. I feel like this is like a brand new. So I was really happy to find that. I almost didn't notice it at first. Like it was like in the middle of like a bunch of bags that were like all kind of jumbled together. So it totally pays to just like look through each and every single thing. Sometimes I'll set up the store because Especially on Sundays, all the bags get like jumbled up and like when people look through them and it, it really does pay to kind of like help separate everything because you never know what's going to be in there. You can find some really, really great items. Okay. Mm, I think we're almost done. These are my last two things and I, the last two things I actually, other than the sunglasses, which I feel like I'm going to keep all the sunglasses with maybe the exception of the black Celine's, maybe, and maybe, ugh, I don't know. I think I'm just definitely gonna keep the red ones because I really like the fit and style of these, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want any of them? <laughs> I, I, my collection of sunglasses went from like three to like a gazillion. I think everyone that has sold, donated their sunglasses that are large and in charge because now I finally have sunglasses that fit me. Okay, this, oh, wait, 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 I have three more items. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, so I, I, I really like this. So this is by a designer uh, called Claire Vivier. And if you guys have been here before, you guys know like my obsession with Claire Vivier. And I am obsessed with this bag. I think it's so beautiful. And it is made of, of four different kinds of leather um, here on the front. So we have like a pebbled leather, and these two are suede, one in, one in like a dark navy red. And then this is a smooth leather that's perforated. So it's really like, I don't know. I, whenever I see perforations, it just it makes me automatically think of sporty, right? Like, I don't know why. And then the rest of the bag is in this beautiful navy leather, super soft, uh, like butter. 
And then we have the black leather handles as well as the crossbody strap. Um, the interior is in her iconic chambray fabric lining. There's just one interior pocket right there and this also does come with the dust bag and I believe it comes with, oh, there it is. It comes with the little Claire Vivier card and little um, tag and I think that is it. I actually wanna put those inside the pocket. But um, I also love that the bottom has the feet and the bottom is actually hard. There's like something in there that gives it structure, which is fantastic. And because the rest of the bog is like, the bog, the bog, the bag is kind of flappy. So yeah, I don't know, I really like the bag. It is super clean on the interior. I honestly think it looks like it's in like new condition. It's fantastic. It does look like there is some color transfer situation right there, but I'm pretty positive that it's from the leather. This has probably just been like sitting really, like sitting, not being used for a really long time. And this is a very light leather and it looks like this might be untreated as well like i think it might even patina over time and that's probably why it has kind of absorbed some of that navy color from the rest of the leather but i think that's cool it's fine it'll happen uh this has the top handles and it has also the shoulder strap and i think this bag looks so chic oh my gosh my legs are falling asleep <laughs> But I think it looks so chic on, right? Like, it's so cool. What do you guys think? Right? Super fun. Does it go with my outfit? Oh, it actually kind of does, right? Yeah. Anyway, this is a great bag. I, I might be keeping it. I'm not 100% certain yet, but I really love it. I love... I have a... Good collection of Claire Vivier going on. And I don't actually own this style myself, just like for my own like use. So or I might keep it for a little bit and then let it go after a while. But it's always just easiest and least painful to just let it go right away. Cause then like once I start using it, I'm like, oh I get attached. Like they're like my children. So Oh, how much was this? Uh this guy was sixty-five dollars, which is honestly a steal because they've been like every other time I've been seeing like Claire Vivier stuff at consignment stores secondhand stores and not like even like thrift stores they're really expensive so and that bag is pricey I think it retails between four and five hundred dollars I'm I think um if I remember I'll pop it up right here and uh, once I check the website because I know that's a style that she always has I think it's called the simple tote maybe the next item that I have here is Hermes, which is crazy. This is the second week in a row that I've gotten an Hermes piece when uh, I went out sourcing. And it comes with a little box, which is really great. And it has a little ribbon on it still, too. And um, this guy I got for $75. If you know Hermes, you probably know what this is already because they, they come in this box. But I got a beautiful pink Twilly. It's so cute! I don't know what to do with it. If I'm going to keep it or if I should sell it. Um, it's beautiful. I like this print. It's like the, like their, um, like the ribbon print or whatever. And I love the colorway. You guys know, pink and like this like magenta color. Love. Love, love, love. Um, so cute. And like, you know, like people will use Twilies on just like the front handle of their bag if they don't have to or if, like sometimes it's just a look with just the one um but you can put these like on any like handbag handle or even there's even like ways to tie it on your bag like decoratively like you can turn it into a flower a bow like all this stuff there's literal youtube videos tiktoks reels dedicated to styling with one of these so you bet that i'm going to be <laughs> looking them up and just trying it out and seeing um what i think but yeah, I don't know, do I need to keep it? Like, let me know, would you guys sell it? Would you guys keep it? I got it for $75, which I think is a deal. These normally, in the low 200s. Sorry, my camera cut me off, which is so rude. It's telling me I'm talking too much. After a certain time limit, it kind of just like turns itself off. It's like, reach time limit. And then you have to like press the button again, which is so annoying. But I wonder if there's a way to turn that off. If anyone knows, let me know. 
Of course, I don't really know how to use my camera, of course, so. <laughs> he doesn't read the directions. Okay, now this is the last item that I have, and this is probably the one I am most excited about, and I am also probably going to be keeping in my personal collection, um, unless I find another one, because I actually want this, like, I originally have been searching for this, like, I've been wanting this bag, um, but the ones that I were, like, I had my eye on, um, are, there's, like, a mini version, and then there's also kind of, like, a belt bag, body bag, um, version of this, but I, I didn't even know I wanted this till I had it, so I, I, I'm just gonna live with it for a while and then see, and I don't know, well, well, I've been manifesting a lot of this in my life, I don't know how, but Loewe, Yes, you guys are going to be so mad at me if I don't sell this. Because <laughs> I've just been hoarding all the Loewe. But, it's cool. I love the color combo too. It's like literal perfection. This is the Loewe Gate bag. And this is in the size small. Uh, in the calfskin, I believe, leather. And it is so pretty. It does have like some marks on it, but like upon further inspection, I think these are all just superficial and it just needs a cleaning. What's crazy too is this same exact bag color combo is still available on the Loewe website for $2,400, which is nuts. And I, I, I. And I, I got this for $200. Can you believe it? $200. $200. And I was just like, <gasps> I cannot believe it. And then, like, of course, like, like I, I, I immediately, like, when I got home right now, I had it authenticated. And uh, I used Authenticate first because last time I used them, they were really, really quick because I had another Loa V piece that I just wanted to make sure it was authentic. And... If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it if it's gone up already. But I, and like last time I authenticated the bag or my l last low heavy piece, they literally got back to me within minutes. This one, I actually looked at the timestamp um, on the emails that I got because I, I got an email saying that they received my authentication submission. And then the next email was when they, uh, the authentication was complete. Um, I submitted at 12.20. And then I heard back from that 12.44. So literally under 25 minutes. In 24 minutes, they got back to me. And it's authentic. So I'm so super excited for $200. I got my... Uh, I, I can't let this go. I can't. It was too good of a deal. And I would just like... I know I'll, I'd end up crying. Um, I just need to clean it up. I was already going to. But I was like, I want to make a video about it. Because this bag is so special. Um, but honestly, it's like not even that bad. Like, it just has some... like superficial marks on it but it is in this beautiful tan and then brown and then the body is in like this gray color right there so when you open it up it's in this golden like brown colored uh, microfiber lining I just have it stuffed because it was like a little squished earlier but um, I'm definitely gonna try to get it's like complete shape back but you can see that it's still kind of uh, slightly deformed right and the interior has a like two separations there's um the main pot like area in the front and then there's like another part in the back and there's like a card pocket or a card pocket like a pocket it's not necessarily a card pocket but you can put your cards in there um and it's beautiful look at that uh i'm so obsessed you guys like i am over the moon you should have seen me today today was such an amazing day like i cannot it was just like one thing after another and I, I don't know, like yesterday and today have been some of the best thrifting days ever and I am so beyond excited. Okay, let me show you guys how this one looks on. Like... Oh, it's so good from what I can see. This is looking, oh yeah. I think I definitely need to keep this guy. I don't know what, whenever I like look at myself, I always put my hands in my pockets. I don't know why. Isn't that weird? But isn't, <sighs> yeah. I feel like it even goes with the current outfit, right? Does it kind of match? 
Not that I'm like ever concerned with matching my bag to my outfit. I will use any bag with any outfit, really. It's just like whatever bag I want to use that day. So, there I am again with my hand in my pocket. Okay. But, yeah, isn't she gorgeous? Oh, wait, I have one last thing to show you guys. Okay. I have also been wanting these shoes for a hot second. I almost went to go buy them full price at the store, but these are uh, Converse. And they're like the cool, like, chunky uh, ones, right? And I really wanted them in the white. And, like, this is the colorway that I wanted. Like, exactly everything that I wanted was what I got with these shoes and they are in such good condition like minimal wear like it's crazy so these were $32.50 and they're like they were my size 2 which made me so happy these are a size 10 and a half and uh, <laughs> Check it out! I'm so excited! Oh, these are so good. They kind of made a little squeaky sound, which is really fun. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, they go with my new bag. Oh my gosh, it does go with the bag. Okay, so, I am happy as a clam. Uh, I hope you guys had fun today checking out um, all the stores that I went to, all the finds. Let me know what your favorite item was that I found today and don't forget to join me during the live sales if you're interested in any of these items because they will be in the lives and uh, also you can watch the older live uh, sales as well you can still shop from them just check out the description boxes of those videos and they should have the items availability and pricing in there just send me an email or a DM on Instagram if you have any questions about anything or if you'd like to purchase anything and yeah that's it Hadrian and his new bag are going to be signing off. I, I got to go water the plants in the middle of the night because it was really, really hot today and it's going to be really, really hot tomorrow. So, adios, sayonara, arrivederci. I love you guys. Check out the new video tomorrow at 7am. I do post videos every single day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Right, bye guys.